Hello, in today's video I'm going to be powering up the notifier repeater panel as this was a video request so I've now finished um, adding the power supply into it I haven't been able to upload the video because my, um, my phone crashed when I was recording it so I don't have that video anymore but I basically changed out the fuse um, put the wire in and then put a cable tie in so that it acts as a cord grip just to stop it from being pulled out of the power supply down here so yeah that's the my main demonstration board there so it is powered off of the mains the repeater panel I'll turn it on so when it's first turned on as you can see you have different language options so we'll do English then it shows you the status here it's got the date the model of the fire system which is a notifier oh that's because see it's got the time as well mute buzzer accept evacuate silence resound reset pre-alarm so that's the before it evacuates the building it starts beeping uh, test delay active systems fault and communications loss that any of these lights come on with a fault light that's the power light showing that it has power um, this is the fire light to show when it's in fire mode this wants me to then confirm to evacuate no matter which one I do it's not going to do anything so if I do evacuate it won't do anything because it's not connected up to a master panel in about 30 seconds it's going to go into a fault because it doesn't have communications with the master panel. So we'll just wait for that to happen. But it's also got a key switch here. That's the model number there. IDR2 active. So it's an active repeater. I'll tell you the difference in a minute between active and passive. So you can see it's counting up. So that's now it has a fault on it so an active repeater panel allows you to have these controls so basically the, the some of the basic controls that the master panel has so if I now go to ac to access the menu you press the star this is the lamp test so this this tests all the LEDs are working tests the buzzer make sure that every single crystal on the um, sorry pixel on screen is on you can then adjust the contrast by pressing the up and down buttons it tells you the address is zero the version the model you can adjust the contrast so I press that again it goes back to home that cancels that goes back to its factory default different languages um, that sets it back to its default message this shows all the different faults that it may have or in any events that have happened this allows me to test all the buttons to make sure they're all working do this I'm gonna to have to reboot it because I can't turn the key switch off because I don't have a key for this panel so I've had to bypass it internally by just removing something so I'm gonna to have to reboot it so select the language power diagnostics not really sure what this is about That's that's really all you've got on it. There's not a lot on it. Inside there's the um, reset. Well, in fact, I'll open it up and show you. So you've got to turn this. It's quite an unusual lock. Let's see. So there's the address switch. It's set to zero. I think that's a polling LED 
for when it's on the system it pulls because I think these this full connector block here is the loop loop in and loop out as part of the addressable loop that's the cable tie I was on about so you've got your mains coming in to this cable tie to stop it moving comes into the printer power supply which I did use hot glue to secure it but then I had to use super glue because hot glue doesn't work it then comes out of there up here into there and then into the power supply it's 28 volts DC and then it comes up to this flat flex ribbon into here so this ribbon takes the power and data that powers the um, the front panel this is what I was talking about the key switch so if you're sorry about that so if your panel has a um, key switch in it but you lose the key and it has a connector like this you can just unplug the key switch and just put plug in a um, jumper block across it so it then tricks it into thinking it has um, what's it power that here is a re reset button that's the internal sounder 